Do all people around the world have equal access to education? Sadly, no. David does not, because most teachers in his school are untrained. Consequently, he does not even learn basic writing skills. Fatima does not, because children in her school are squeezed into overcrowded classrooms and sometimes even have to do lessons outside. Godfrey does not, because his school lacks textbooks, school supplies and other tools students desperately need in order to excel. He has to share outdated, worn-out textbooks with five other students. Sophia does not because she has a hearing disability, but the schools in her area lack special needs teachers and do not accommodate students with disabilities. Anya does not because her family has decided that she needs to stay at home to look after her siblings and work on household chores. In her country, many believe that there's less value in educating a girl than a boy. Harry does not. He is severely malnourished and hungry to the point where it is affecting his cognitive abilities as well as his focus and concentration in school. Amani does not because his education is continually disrupted by conflict and violence in his area. Currently he has to attend a basement school as his city is besieged. Jonah does not. His family are so poor that he has to help work for an income to make sure that they have the most basic necessities. Besides, the family cannot afford the school fees. Nikesta does not. She has to walk to school, but her school is very far away from where she lives. She has to get up early to go to school on time, and she arrives home very late every day as the walk to school takes two hours in each direction. These children are just 9 out of millions around the world who do not have proper access to education. What can we do? Support a charity that aims to eradicate these inequalities and see what a difference you can make.